Hello and welcome. I am Megan of Megan Martin Creative and today I'm excited to show you um, my exact process of how I craft a blog post in WordPress using CoSchedule. Um, CoSchedule has really helped me in my blogging efforts to create unique content regularly. Um, I am shooting for a goal of five times a week. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, um, and that's okay. But I use CoSchedule as a tool to help me keep on track and efficiently make blogging happen. Um, so I'm going to show you, this is my WordPress dashboard, and this is the blog post that I'm crafting this for. You can see I've got text. I've already got an image in here. Um, but I am going to show you exactly how I create this process using CoSchedule. So in my WordPress dashboard on the left, you can go down and you'll see calendar right here and click on that. Now I have already uploaded the CoSchedule plugin to my WordPress dashboard. So that way I can view the calendar straight from WordPress. You can also use CoSchedule through their website. They have, this looks the exact same on their website. Um, but it's very helpful for me to be able to use it within the WordPress dashboard to make blogging more efficient. So this is loading. And in one second, you'll see my calendar will pop up with all the content that I have already scheduled. So for me, I have basically created content categories for my blog. Um, you'll see this calendar shows these yellow blocks and well, this blue day is today, but this shows yellow blocks of basically blog post drafts that I have already created. And um, so I actually have five categories that I blog about regularly. So on Mondays, I choose to blog about um, my life, my home life. And I also usually do a free printable on that day. So that's what Monday is about. So I know that on Mondays, I'm going to be, you know, reviewing what we did last week, fun moments, plus a free printable. On Tuesdays, I like to share usually tech tips. So it, for instance, today I'm talking about why CoSchedule has really helped me in my blogging efforts. I've done three powerful apps that make Instagram easy. Um, just different blog posts um, in for for helping you out on the tech side of your small business. Like next week, I've got 10 WordPress templates for a beautiful and affordable website, um, different topics like that. On Wednesdays, I like to talk about more of the uh, emotional side of business or um, maybe review who I'm loving getting advice from, maybe books that I'm reading, um, maybe more ideas like studying your personality in your business or, um, you know, building a team, different, different, more of like emotional connective topics within business. That's kind of what Wednesdays are about for me. Um, on Thursdays, I like to share more lifestyle inspiration for intentional living. Um, so a lot of times I've been doing outfits or maybe I'll do product lines that I find are really helping me in my business. Uh, maybe I'll share some pretty office inspiration or um, things of that sort. So, and on Fridays, I do a Friday five. I round up some favorite picks and fresh finds for, um, you know, doing business well and also stylish living. So those are really my five main categories. Sometimes I step out of the category if I have content that I want to post on a specific day. Um, but these are, that's a framework to help me come up with content regularly. So you'll see here is this month that I've got scheduled out, ready to go. And then if I scroll up, you can see next month, I've already got some blog posts, ideas ready. Now, all of these blog posts aren't written yet, but this really helps me in my daily efforts. So for instance, today, I know that I need to come in and finish this blog post, um, I had pre-written some of the content and made the image, but I need to create the video and I need to um, probably go in and edit all of that text and make sure everything is looking correct. Um, some days I am blogging on the same exact days, uh, same exact date that I actually publish a post, but, but using CoSchedule is very easy for me to not have to sit here for 30 minutes and think about what am I going to blog today? I've already got a title ready. I've already got a draft ready. Um, so I can come into my calendar and quickly start creating content for that day. So for today, I want to work on my video tutorial. 
And so I'm going to click on this blog post draft. Within the calendar, this pops up. It's an edit post pop-up. And this is the next reason I love CoSchedule. It's for title creation. CoSchedule helps me create titles that are compelling for my readers to actually want to click on and read. Um, and that's extremely important. So basically, CoSchedule uses a grading system. Let me show you this. They use a grading system on word count and character count, as well as four categories of word types. So word count, they say that you should be around the six mark. It's not always going to happen, but you don't want to go too far over or too far under that count. Character count, same thing. Oh, let me reclick that. They give a suggestion of 55. I've also heard 60 is, you know, the character count limit, but you just want to be somewhere in that range, um, and they help grade you on that. Then the words, this is where CoSchedule has really helped me, um, is in creating titles that are compelling to the masses. Um, and they use a grading system based on using common words, uncommon words, emotional words, and powerful words. And if you can tap into all four of those categories, that helps boost your word balance grade. Um, and you can click in here. You can go to a full analysis to go to CoSchedule's website. Um, they give you tons of tips on their site about creating um, post titles that convert. Um, but this has really helped me in my blogging efforts because before I used CoSchedule, I kind of just were, was making up titles that I thought either were cute or kitschy or, um, you know, in my mind they made sense because I was making the content up. But this really helps me think about somebody else who has no idea what I'm about to talk about. Um, and they always suggest that you get a score of 70 or higher. So you can see in here in this drop down, these are all the different titles I tried for this post to get to that 70 mark. So it does take a little bit of work. It does take a little bit of trying, but since I've implemented CoSchedule, now I can actually create a post title pretty quickly that gets me above the 70 mark because I've understood how to, how to use their grading system to create post titles that are compelling. So that's a really powerful tool. Next, you can come in here, you can choose the categories that your post will go in under your blog. You can edit your author. You can come down here, you can create tasks lists for your blog posts. So if you need to create copy, imagery, link sources, all that stuff, you can create um, task templates that you can use in all of your blog posts. Also, you'll see here, this is where the social sharing comes in. So this is a great tool to share on all your social media outlets. You don't have to, um, you don't have to manually do this. And this is where CoSchedule really comes in and saving you time. You can create templates. So this is a template that you'll see I've used or I've created for social sharing for my blog posts. It shares to my personal Facebook, my Twitter, my Pinterest, uh, my business Facebook, maybe another Pinterest board if I want it. You can come down here, you can create templates to schedule it the next day, maybe the next week, maybe the next month, or any custom date, date that you can think of. And that really helps boost longevity of your content. But today I'm going to show you how I edit this in WordPress. And right here you can click edit in WordPress. And this is going to bring me to my blog post that I have posted or that I need to create if I haven't done um, the any work yet. So you can see here, this is just the same. It is your WordPress dashboard. It takes you directly into your blog post to edit that and get it ready to go. Now I have already put in my text, as I said before, and I've already put it in an image. Next, I will be putting in the video post, but I'm doing that now, so <laughs> it'll come soon. But you can see here, you can do that work that we just talked about, about doing your social sharing in your actual WordPress post. So often when I'm creating content on the fly, I'll just come down here and already get my um, social sharing ready to go this way. That way I can just do it all under one home. Um, and that is that is awesome for me to, to be able to see all of this in one place. 
So I've got my content here. I used Yoast SEO for my search engine optimization. And then I can come down here and see all my social shares and make it happen. And then the last great thing about CoSchedule is that if you click back on your calendar, you can come in here and see how your social or how your content is doing on social media. So you can kind of gauge like what posts are being shared more. It shows you um, how many shares you get on the different social platforms. And that way you can kind of start gauging your content creation based on what your audience, your specific audience actually wants to learn about from you or read about um, or check out. So as this is loading, here we go. You can come back in and see, let's click on one of these past ones, like right here. This is a blog post I did about Instagram and the apps that I use. And you'll see I got 11 shares or 10 shares on Facebook and one share on Pinterest. That wasn't my own share. Um, so that just helps your content reach more and more people that you might not have been able to in the past. So that's why I love CoSchedule. It is a really powerful tool. There are so many more features about it that are... Um, really powerful for your blogging efforts. Um, and I totally would suggest every blogger who wants to start creating regular content, implement this tool. It is not an expensive tool um, and it is worth every penny. So I hope you liked this little walkthrough and please leave me any questions or comments you may have if you um, would like to hear more about CoSchedule. All right, guys, see you next time.